Kia ora guys and girls, we are here, day three of our Pokemon training adventure. What we're going to be doing today is basically what I want to try and do is I want to try and level up as fast as possible. The main reason why I want to do that is I want to try and take on some more gyms and own some gyms. So at the moment, we've got people like this who look at these. So if you look now just above their character so you can see their name, but behind their name that is actually a number and that is their level. So what we want to try and do is we want to try and level up as fast as possible. Look at this guy, he's level 16. So that's our goal today, find as many Pokemon as we can and level up. But first thing I want to do is I want to show you guys an Evolve thing. So we've shown you gym battles, we've shown you eggs hatching, but we haven't shown you evolving a Pokemon. So that's what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to go and we're going to make it so that it's on combat points, so that's the uh, way it's on, and we're going to find our highest Pidgey, and we're going to evolve him into a Pidgeot, or Pidgeotto, Pidgeotto then Pidgeot, isn't it, that's the way it goes. So that's what we're going to do, so the way it's done is you can power them up, so that is the CP, so there's this circle at the top of the screen, it's kind of hard to point to, so I'll show you twice, so there's a circle at the top of the screen, then you've got your candy, how much candy you need, so you need 800 Stardust and one candy to keep up upgrading them, the more that the CP line is around here, the higher the amount of Stardust that you need, so if down here you might only need like 200 uh, Stardust to upgrade the CP, but if you are all the way over here you need 800. So that's what you can do, then you can also evolve. So each Pokemon needs a certain amount of its candy, so this is a Pidgey, so it needs 12 Pidgey candy to evolve, and we have 53, so we're going to be evolving this guy. But first of all, I think what we should do is we should level him up, because I don't know what about. So if I level him up and then evolve him, does that mean that he's going to be even better when I evolve him? I don't know. Oh, whoops, we didn't want to go out. Let's go back in before we level them up. So we, okay, so you just tap the screen, you don't tap the X, the X goes all the way out. Okay, can we can we go any further? No, we can't go, so if I try and power up, trainer level is too low to power up, so we can't power him up any further than what we have here. And so what we're gonna do is we are going to evolve him and make him a Pidgey. No, we're gonna make him a Pidgeot. Pidgeotto, and then Pidgeot. I don't think we have enough to make him a Pidgey Ops. There we go, we've got the Pidgey Ops, so that is the evolving process. It's just like a little cinematic, just like it always is in all the Pokemon games. And yeah, so we've now got that in our Pokedex, because we didn't have it, we didn't catch the other one. So now we need 50 Pidgey Candy to evolve them to a Pidgeotto, and it looks like that because I've already filled up the the bar, the little half circle. It doesn't look like it, it goes down, it just stays full. So that is something that I have learnt. And yeah, so now, man, stop flying around. I want to see, so we are at 293 CP. So that's pretty cool, so we went up quite a bit. And now he is my third strongest Pokemon. Very cool. So let's get out there and try and find some more Pokemon and level up so that we can battle some more gyms and hopefully take them over. Because look, Red is taking over all of our gyms. We've still got a blue gym over there. Actually, that was Red last time. But now these two, these two around our house are now Red, so we need to take them back. But we need to be higher level to do that. So let's go and try and do that. So it looks like it didn't take very long to find our first new Pokemon. This is a Venomoth. We literally drove to the end of our driveway and we found this. So let's try and capture this. So I haven't got one of these yet. Let's try and get him. Hopefully he doesn't fly away. It is yellow. We're going to do it. One. No. No. Okay. Making the circle a lot smaller is definitely the way to go. There we go, we got Venomoth, gotcha, Venomoth was captured, new Pokemon, so we get 500 XP, so looks like that might be the best way to rank up, is just find tons of new Pokemon, so let's just go and do that. So look, we got some stuff, yes, very much, and yeah, we'll just get this Pidgey as well. Let's go get your Pidgey. Okay guys, so that Dragonite that we said that we saw on a part one that we never could find, we found it! Here we go, it is 136 CP and we're gonna... Don't you do that. Don't attack me, I'm going to catch you. <gasps> Was that a good throw? It didn't say great or anything. It didn't, say even, didn't even say nice. Three? Oh, that's three? Gotta count properly? Yes, gotcha! We got the Dragonite. No, it's not Dragonite, it's a... Dredenti, that's it. 
I always keep calling it Dragonite, but it's a Dredenti. I really want a Snorlax. That would be so cool if we can get a Snorlax. Okay. Oh, here we go. We've got an egg hatching. We're literally in a car park and we found this. And it's a Rattata. Well, that's just great. Okay, so since we're here, we might as well evolve um, a Rattata. So we've got this one, highest level Rattata. Yep, well, let's evolve him. So we've got 69 Rattata candy. We only need 25 to evolve him. Let's evolve him to a Rattata. Rattata? Is that what is he meant to evolve into? It goes from pink to grey. I reckon he looks even better like that than the Rattata. Is that ra is it Rattata? Is that the evolution? We'll find out soon. Rattata Kate. Kate, not Rattata. There we go. We can power him up some more, but we don't want to do that. We'll just leave him as B. So where is he now? He's all the way up here, so he's also one of my top Pokemon now as well. So there we go, we've evolved a couple more Pokemon, and let's go keep Pokemon hunting. Okay, we just parked outside Hagley Park, and pulled out my phone, and we've got a Tentacruel just beside us. So we decided to catch him right here. Oh no, he is high level, he is a 202 CP, so we're gonna try it. No, oh, I knocked it away. Let's try this, try with my other hand. FD, go, oh, no. I also learned that you can um, do curveballs, I'm running out of Pokeballs too, this is gonna be... Watch this, I'll do a curve ball, ready? And... go! Oh, he jumped out of the way! It wasn't a very good throw either. So let's try it again, go! Okay, here we go. One... No, didn't even get... Oh, no, he ran away! No! No, 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 that's not what I wanted! Ah, uh -huh, I really wanted him! Oh well, let's catch this Pidgey instead. Okay guys, so we literally just hatched another egg and we got another Scyther and this guy is 333 CP and look how much more I can get, get him up. So look at that, I can still live him up so much, so that is so cool. And I'm pretty sure I saw a Snorlax on here, I've now, I'm, right now I'm chasing a Jigglypuff, but I'm pretty sure I saw a Snorlax, so we are going to hunt for the Snorlax. I really want a Snorlax, let's go. Okay guys and girls. We are running low on Pokeballs, so we're going to need to go and find a bunch more. At the moment we're running at 18 Pokeballs, so we're going to have to go find a bunch more Pokestops. And we found the best place ever. Look at all of these Pokestops. So many. So we're going to go and collect all of these Pokestops so that we can get a lot more Pokeballs because we're running really low. We've been using a lot. Look at this, four more Pokeballs. Awesome. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. So for those of you who don't know, I live in Christchurch and about, I don't know, five or six years ago, they had um, some major earthquakes. And so at the moment, this is one of the Pokestops and you can see it looks all beautiful and everything. And so if I swipe on it, I can get this stuff. But at the moment in real life, it is all fenced off and you can see all of the structure, all of the um, bracing going all through the middle because it's not quite structurally sound at the moment because it's damaged in the earthquakes. So I just thought that was pretty interesting, seeing the differences between what the game thinks is now and what is actually happening in real life. And look, we found a Krabby. Yes, we're going to try and catch this Krabby. We've already caught a Krabby before. Can we do it first go though? Ready? Here we go. With the sunset in the background. Yes, we got it. Okay guys, so down by the river we've managed to find a Tentacruel. Tentacruel. Tentacruel is the evolution. Let's see if we can get this guy instead of him running away. Okay, here we go. One. No! Don't run away, don't run away. He's, he's 100 CP. Okay, go. That was a bad throw. Okay, try it again. Don't run away. Here we go. No! Oh, too low. It was bouncing on the water. We're going to run out of Pokeballs soon. Here we go. I think we got it. Okay, ready? One. No! What was that with the pitcher going? No, he went away again! <sighs> found some Gen 2 Pokemon. Yeah, not in the game yet. Okay, so we found an egg. When we didn't find an egg, our egg is ready to hatch another one. Let's see what it is. What's it gonna be, guys? What do you reckon? Oh, we got a Star You! We got another Star You! Nice! What kind of CP is he? He's 170 CP, so he's a lot higher than our other Star Yous. That we've caught. Oh, congratulations, you've earned a medal. Hatch 100 or oh, hatch 10 eggs, not 100. 
Man, imagine that, reaching 100 eggs. Oh, let's get that Pokey Mart. Swipe. Pokey balls, yes. Okay guys, we found a slow poke. He's hanging out with all the ducks in the water. We're gonna try and catch him. He's quite high level. Oh, he, that wasn't far enough. I don't know how many Pokeballs I got left. I must be getting really low. Was that good? Excellent! Did you see that? Oh my goodness, here we go. Oh no, it's doing the thingy! Okay, I think I've got a trick for this. If you just leave it and wait for the icon to spin again, basically trying to get it to work, I think that means that I might not have lost it. Okay, so we caught him, I think. So we're gonna close this app, come back in, open it up again. Loading. Did we did we catch him? Okay, we got one on CP, we want it on recent. No, we didn't catch our slow poke. That's so dumb. Oh man. Okay guys, so we've got a pincer right there. It's getting pretty close to it, so let's try and find that one. Let's see if we can find some really cool Pokemon. I really wish we could find that Snorlax. It just popped up like half a second. I looked and it was like, oh, there's a Snorlax and it disappeared. And it said it was only like one step away, so I'm so disappointed when that happened. But let's try and find this pincer, because they seem to be very popular in the gyms. Okay hey guys, we found another tentacle. Let's try and get this one. 203. Oh, what a bad throw. I don't even know how many Pokeballs we've got left. Okay, we got, we got, we got a hit. One, two, three. Yeah, we got it. Okay guys, so we've got Horsiers hiding in gardens. We're gonna try and catch this guy. We haven't been able to find another Slowpoke and we couldn't find the Clefairy. I don't even know if it was a Clefairy. Maybe it was a Jigglypuff? Um, I'm not too sure which one, which shape was shape. Which shape is which shape? I don't even know what English is. So there we go, we caught the Horsea. Nice. Another Pokemon added to the Pokedex. We're getting some good progress today. Look at this, we're almost level 10 too, and we're finding all of these Poke Stops to get as many Pokeballs as we can. Okay guys, this pincer looks like it's getting close. It's going to the top of the page. It's actually moved down a spot since I last showed you, so, or since I last looked, so we'll try and find it. Okay guys. Phone is completely dead. Pokemon Go is super draining on your battery, even if it's a brand new phone. This is the latest iPhone. Uh, we got the sun setting over there, so it's time to we'll go back to our car. And we'll charge our phone and maybe, maybe keep going. We might drive to a new place and try and get some more Pokemon. Never could find that Snorlax again. Oh, I was so disappointed. I really wanted that Snorlax. He is probably one of my favorite characters in the game, uh, followed closely by um, Gengar and who else? Who else is my favorite Pokemon? I also like Scyther. I've never really been able to get Scyther because I've never had the right game. I've always had the wrong like color. So that's the kind of thing. So um, let me know which is your favorite Pokemon and I'm heading back to my car to try and charge my phone. Okay guys, so I got back in my car and plugged my phone in and look at this. There is a Poliwhirl really close to me. So I'm just letting my phone charge so that we can go looking for it, I think. I don't think it's very far away. Whoops, what are we doing? There we go. So, I'm just having a look around. So there is the moving grass thing. So all these little bits of moving grass. So that means there is a Pokemon around there somewhere. Um, doesn't always mean there's going to be, but it means there's a likely, high likelihood of getting a Pokemon. Especially if you're seeing one that's really close, so like close footsteps. What you do is you look around, you go, oh look, there's some moving grass really close to me. So I, I might go check that out and there might be a Pokemon there. So just a little tip. You didn't know that already and we'll see if we can catch him once my phone is charged come on charge up okay literally a, a radatar showed up and i battled radata and then the poly wheel disappeared so i guess we're not going to stay here we're going to go and try and find a different place while our battery charges up Okay guys, so I have read that it is more likely for you to find a Ghastly or like a Clefairy if you're playing at night. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm just going to spend a bit of time driving around to different locations and seeing if we can find some sort of Ghastly or something like that in the wild because the only ones I've got so far have been hatched from my egg and so that's what we're going to do tonight. Okay guys, no Ghastlies or anything like that yet but we have got a squirtle that is one footprint away so i'm going to get out of my car and we're just going to walk around a little bit and see if we can pinpoint exactly where this is 
walking up up and down the street. Just within it's so it's so close. Okay, here we go guys. We found the squirtle, we're back in the car, keeping warm, and go! Can we get it? Can we get it? Please get the squirtle. I want the squirtle. Does it mean I have one of each of the starter Pokemon? No! Don't run away, don't you dare run away. No! Stop doing it, Squirtle. <gasps> okay. Every time they do that, I think they're gonna run away. No. <gasps> great! We got a great! Here we go. One. Oh, what? It was a great! Another great! It was like a perfect throw! One. Okay, here we go. One. Two. Three. Squirtle is gotcha! Gotcha the Squirtle! Yeah, yeah, look at this. Cool, awesome. Registered the Pokedex. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Love it, love it. Still haven't seen any Ghastlies or anything like that, so I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna drive to another place and see if they're maybe near town, closer to the center of town. There might be Ghastlies. I'll go, I don't know. Let's check. Okay, guys, we're in a McDonald's car park and we have found a Cedra. So that's what we're gonna try and catch now. Ready? Let's let's go to it. <gasps> okay, here we go. One, two. No, you got out. Okay, let's try it. Let's do a really good one. Here we go. Boom. Now the annoying thing about this game is they put the Pokemon at different distances. So this one, he's quite far back. So I can actually throw it quite quite a lot but this is like something like a Pidgey or like that Squirtle it was actually really close so I didn't have to throw it very far so you have to kind of learn to judge distances and it can be hard because your Pokemon can be different sizes but that was a great that was a great we are ready one two three gotcha we got him awesome another new Pokemon to the Pokedex I love it Okay guys, still no ghastly or anything, but we found a wheezing. I haven't seen a wheezing yet, so let's try and catch this. <gasps> it's red! Oh my goodness, this is going to be super difficult. <gasps> Excellent though! Here we go. Can we do it first try? One? No, obviously not. Okay, try again. Yeah! So bad. Here we go. This, this time, we got it. Great, we got a great. Oh, I like it. Can we get it? Okay, here we go. One. Two. Three. Gotcha! We got a wheezing! Yes! So it does seem like there might be something to this nighttime, daytime thing. Unless it just. Oh, I've never been to this part of town, anyways, while playing this game. I'm in the middle of town. Okay, so we're close to Hagley Park again, and I'm seeing Tangellas. So I'm guessing that that's where they are. So we're gonna drive closer to Hagley Park and see if we can find these guys. Okay guys, so I pulled over to hatch an egg and guess what came out of it? A Ponyta! How cool is that? The one that I was, being ch I was chasing on the beach yesterday. So we got it and it's 422. That's so high. That's so crazy. I love it though. We got one. Awesome. We just need to go and get some more now <laughs> so we can evolve it. And an update, there's still no Ghastlies or anything like that. Um, but those Tangellas, I saw them. Uh, on my iPhone, but then I couldn't find get close enough. Um, they might be in the middle of the park I'm not going walking through the middle of the park in, at night um, But I don't know maybe maybe they're somewhere Okay guys, so we are back home. We didn't see any ghastlies at night, so I don't know why Why that is but we did see some tangellas in an area that I was walking around during the day, so so there may be a thing that where certain Pokemon won't show up in the day, but they'll show up at night. Um, but there was also, I saw a lot more Pokemon than I did during the day. I'm guessing that might be because there were less people walking around catching Pokemon, so therefore I had a bigger choice of Pokemon. I don't know whether or not that is something that you have to take into account when playing this game, but I don't know. It's just something I noticed. So what we're going to do is we are going to go into our Pokemon and I'm just going to show you the things that we've found. So we caught so much today. We are now at 180 Pokemon caught. Um, what's our Pokedex looking like? Our Pokedex is at 44 scene, 46, or 46 scene, 44 caught. So we're filling out our Pokedex very nicely now. So we still don't have that Slowpoke. We've got a bunch more. 
that we found today and what we're going to do is I'll just show you a couple of things. So we found out, we got a ponyta from hatching an egg, we also found a wheezing during the night and then I found all of these tentacles, I thought there were more of them. Hang on, this is based on CP, so if we change it to recent, so here we go. So these are the recent ones we found. So the ponyta, we found a side, no we hatched a Psyduck just before we hatched the ponyta, uh, but I really want to show you guys the ponyta because we were chasing around that for so long yesterday. And we found our wheezing, we, what else do we, we found these three tentacles really close together like there was a, a swarm of them or something and there were even more of them but I failed to catch those ones uh, just in the car park next to basically where we were this afternoon where we caught that first uh, one and then uh, what else did we find? We found uh, another Dren um, Drentini, we found a Squirtle, uh, we found some more Eevees and a Seedra and what else did we find today? Some more Ekans execute the manky i actually hatched that manky we did not catch that so i haven't seen a manky in the wild yet uh we found a bow sprout and we caught a bow sprout and what else did we find we, we, we caught so much today look i mean look at this this is the eradicate that we uh, evolved earlier and this is the venomoth we found in the morning so all of these pokemon are the ones i caught today i caught so many so many of them are repeats and all that sort of stuff um, what I'm going to do, what I am going to show you, though, is how what you can do with these Pokemon. So, like I said before, there are these candy. So, um, so when you find one, you and catch one, you'll get three candy. Um, I think some of the rarer ones might give you a little bit more candy. If you hatch one, you get even more than that. I think you get. Hang on. So this one we got 20 Ponyta candy because we hatched it from an egg. So that's pretty crazy. Um, what about this wheezing? We've got we only got three coughing candy from the wheezing, and so to get more of these, so if you've got a bunch of Pokemon of the same type and you don't really need them, uh, like I'll show you. So we so if we change it to the number, then you can see this. So this is basically putting it into the Pokédex order. So all of my like Caterpies are going to be in the same place. All my Weedles are going to be in the same place and all that sort of stuff. So you can see all of them and they also put them from um, the highest uh, CP level to the lowest CP level. So look at all these Pidgeys. i got so many Pidgeys. I don't need this many Pidgeys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this Pidgey. We're going to go down to the bottom and what we're going to do is we're going to transfer him to the Professor. Now by transferring him to the Professor, you get one candy. So this is a way of earning more candy so you can get four candy per Pokemon. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go through and get rid of a bunch of these because we're at 179. We, you can only have 250. You can buy extra storage if you want to do that, but at the moment we can only have 250 in our Poke Bank. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that, um, but that's going to be, I'm just going to do that off camera. So that's all we're going to do for this video. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. So if you guys are playing Pokemon Go, let me know what you guys think about it. I'm definitely having a lot of fun. Look at all these Rattatars, that is ridiculous. Um, but there are some things where I was like, I wish it had this, but it doesn't. Um, trading is coming later on, so that's why I think if you've got something like a Scyther, something, something rare, or a Ponyta, and you got multiple of them, I'm not sure you really want to be getting rid of them, sending them to the Professor, because you could use it as a trading thing to be like hey you got something I want I'll trade with you that is something that's coming in the future that they said but it's not here at the moment so you can't trade yet but that's hopefully something we'll see later on so that's it so now it's time for me to say see you guys and girls and I'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>